Started. Dude kind of reached out to Anthony and them and, uh, and, uh, and told me that basically I was okay to come back. I reached out to Duke and uh, we talked stuff over. And, but it was a childish thing that, that came between us and um, I'm back home where I belong, where everything started. So I'm training harder than ever and I'm feeling better than ever. It feels good to be back home. When I was gone, I was like a little depressed little kid, you know what I mean? Like you're seeing pictures online of friends that I started with Anthony. I started with Sergio, you know, even before I even came to Dukes, I started with these guys. So these guys are like my brothers. So. It was only right to come back where I was supposed to be, and I'm, I'm happy I'm back. Oh. South side of Milwaukee, man, it's a rough place. You look for like a top 10 in the murder rate, and you know, one of the hardest places to live, I, I believe, in like the world or something like that. But it's just South Side hours with gangs and violence and selling drugs and doing drugs and, and all that crazy stuff that comes along with it. And, uh, I definitely probably would have been doing the exact same things if I didn't fall into the mixed martial arts and MMA. I get calls from prison, from these same guys that I could have been, you know, jail bunkies with, you know, giving me calls, telling me if they just seen me fight on TV. And that's, I can't even describe that feeling, you know what I mean? That I could have been that guy giving somebody else a call or seeing some of my, one of my friends or, or somebody like that on TV knowing that, you know, a couple years ago I was just doing these horrible things with these people, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to be a, a, a success story for anybody who felt like they couldn't do anything, for anybody who felt like their life was over, you know what I mean? It's not, it's never too late. It's never too late to chase your dreams. When I fell in love with the sport, there was no turning back. Like, I, I feel like this is what I was meant for. I, I, I've been a gladiator my whole life. Whether I was in the UFC and whether I was even in MMA, I was fighting my whole life. You know what I mean? And it seems like I was fighting for this reason. For guys like Cejudo, for these opportunities, you know what I mean? For these for these big chances. I'm sure he's gonna stand there and try to strike a little bit. Uh, he gets away from his wrestling a little bit and tries to prove that he knows how to strike as well and he's a damn good striker, but that, that's that's my forte. I, I, I'm a striker as well, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get He's gonna get cocky and he's gonna try to stand a little bit and I'm gonna prove him wrong and he's gonna reach for the takedown. So I'm working with Ben Askren and CM Punk. I got the two best wrestlers in the world teaching me stuff, man. He's the guy that they want to skyrocket into that number one spot at the 125 division. And I feel like a win over him, one or two more, puts me in line for that title.